What's up my Makokos, Raid Pros and Bonk Bros, Defender here and welcome back to another video. So today I want to go over this last week with Brawl Stars' release, how I've been able to make such a huge amount of gold uh, very very easily and how you can do it too. Okay so it doesn't rely on selling all of your bound raid materials um, like I was expecting to do. Uh, we are holding on to those and we're still planning on selling these down the line um, but essentially we're talking about a combination that still worked uh, since the launch of, uh, of Lost Ark back in February. And it's known to a lot of people, um, but if maybe you're just into the raiding or not into kind of horizontal content, you might not be aware of just how easy it is to print gold with these two fundamentals, okay? But before we get into today's video, you guys know the drill with YouTube. If you like the video and you appreciate the content, please consider dropping me a subscribe. Let me know down in the comments down below if there's any ways that I can improve the video or if I've got something wrong maybe, or maybe you just wanna share your opinions on the matter. Um, I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Your feedback is incredible. Uh, I'm taking on board everything you guys are saying and I try and communicate with you guys as much as possible in the comments down below. And so yeah, if you, if you like the content, please consider uh, doing any of those. I'd really appreciate your support. We're gonna keep growing as a community and I wanna keep delivering amazing content to you guys. But anyway, let's get straight into the video, enjoy. And I'm talking about life skills and stronghold, okay? So if you haven't been working on your stronghold, you absolutely need to start working on it. It's very, very simple. You just come in and you either craft or you send off your ships on dispatches. Um, it's it's really, really easy to, uh, to just gain some experience over time as you do it. You don't need to rush into doing it um, per se. And the second thing, obviously, is life skills. Now, life skills are really, really important. You know, you have your foraging, your fishing, your, your mining, your excavating, your hunting. There's loads of different ones, right? And um, it's really, really important to focus on a few of them uh, because uh, they can make a lot of money. And obviously, if you level them all up over time, it's great. But if you split your energy between them as you're going, it can mean it's slower to make a profit. So focus on a few of them and uh, you'll be able to make a lot of returns. And what I've been doing is I've been crafting a couple of really, really good items this last week, and I've been selling them in huge batches because they're really, really desirable. As we can see here, so special materials, so you're looking at your fusion material. This has been selling like hot cakes across the board on uh, all my characters. It's something that everyone needs at the moment, and you cannot make enough of it, okay? So as you can see here, I've, I've not had any issue selling these, and I've been making 100 plus thousand just off of the fusion materials. Now, the other one to sell as well is uh, your whirlwind grenades. Whirlwind grenades are really, really popular at the moment in uh, Braushaza. Um, especially in the earlier gates, which everyone's trying to get done on lots of different characters. So whirlwind grenades are really, really good investment for selling. Um, you also have things like your HP potions. HP potions are really, really good to sell as well uh, if you do your foraging. And then there's a few others as well, like some sprinters ropes. They might take a little bit longer to sell, but they, they're really desirable. And then you have like your, um, your dark grenades and your destruction grenades, which sell a little bit slower, but they're still really, really good profit. And it can seem quite daunting to know what's worth selling and what isn't without going to the market every day and bookmarking items and checking their trends. The easiest way to do it, in my opinion, if you don't have a spreadsheet available to you from other creators, is just to go to a website like this one called Lost Market. I've been using this since um, whew, probably back early in May when I was told about it. And what it does is it takes your region. So right now I've got Europe Central, for example, and they're pulling out all of the... Um, the trends in the market, the prices, and they put it into this uh, kind of easy to use um, website. And you can just click through and see what's worth it against the material costs to either purchase, or if we wanted to flip that on its head, what's worth selling. Now for me, I like to sell special materials. So I can see here that at the moment, it's still worth selling your basic fusion or rare materials, okay? It tells you if you were to go and buy these or uh, go and get them yourself, the value of these and then turning it into a fusion is actually better profit than selling them individually, okay? And you can do the same with your battle items like your uh, your your uh, whirlwind grenades and your your um, your sprinter's ropes and stuff. You can see here it's 38% uh, profit essentially is what that means um, for that in EUC. And you can bookmark some of the ones you like, okay? And then I go to my favorites and it's gonna be here and it's gonna remember my cookies. So every time I come back, it's gonna have these on my recommended ready to, to show me which ones are worth it. This is a really, really great tool to use and it's super easy uh, to know off the bat just straight away if something is worth it or not without you going into a spreadsheet putting in all the information manually because we don't have access to the API at the moment. You'd have to put it in all manually or someone else is doing it manually. 
and then find out whether or not it's profitable. So this is a really, really good tool to use. I'll link it in the description. It's in a previous video I've talked about with my top 10 resources and websites. So if you haven't seen that already, go check it out. There's some other really, really valuable ones in there that I use all the time. You can see here, HP potions are still really, really desirable for profit. Even the splendid ones sell for 50% profit, but they might be slower. So really, really great tool. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a separate video and talk about why um, I've got my stronghold set up the way it is and why my trade skills are set up the way they are, um, the tools I use because there are certain perks on tools that are really, really good. And the stronghold has some really, really good assets you need to have set up to save money on crafting, to um, to get the biggest return on the amount you're spending. And we're talking about stronghold energy and life skill energy as well, because they're capped every day. Okay, so there's a limit to how much you could theoretically make. But all in all, this past week, I've made a well over 200,000 gold. As you can see, I think in my early Brochaza videos on uh, Wednesday or Thursday, I had about 30,000 gold. Um, just sitting in raw um, and I didn't sell any of my materials I've been holding on to just the crafted stronghold stuff so I've made well over 200,000 and we've also been honing all of our characters up with the uh, the Brow Shaza uh, gate one and two gear so we spent probably about 50,000 as well just on honing so if you consider that as well then I've made probably close to 300,000 and just from doing this simple trick so make sure you guys get on top of this as fast as possible. Use the website. Uh, you can apply your own region to it. So NA, SA, uh, apply your own regions, see what's profitable to craft and start working on trade skills and your stronghold to level them up to craft those things that are profitable, okay? And this trick can be used for any content release any week, um, depending on what's being released in the game. People will always need fusion materials and battle items, okay? They're the constants that you need across the board. And whilst we're talking about fusion materials, we need to be really, really careful with the new one. Okay, so the new one called the superior one, it's probably what you're thinking is huge profit potential right now. And I myself was expecting this to be a huge, huge, huge profit potential. I skipped the research as soon as I could. So it was done. I started crafting them and I instant crafted them as well with all my, my tokens I'd saved up, my acceleration chips. And it turned out that actually it's not profitable. Uh, and the reason is because if you look at these items, all of these previous ones, they make 30 of each material. But this one is actually only making 20. And it doesn't say it here because it doesn't fit on the screen. And I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. It's a little bit sneaky, but actually it only makes 20 of the material instead of 30. So we're losing out on a 50% difference uh, potential, if you will, because uh, 50% of 20 is an extra 10. So 30, 50% extra in the in the uh, the basic ones and the simple ones so the price difference as well it's selling for at the moment is not worth it crafting whereas if you were to craft these and sell them at their price point of 11 to 12 gold in euc for example and you're making an extra 50 percent of these more than you are of the superior ones then you're basically in investing in less materials for a higher return so it's worth it now this might change down the line where these prices start to go up a lot and then it might be worth investing in these, but for now, stay clear of them. If you need them, it's actually worth uh, investing in buying them yourself off the market because it is cheaper than crafting yourself. So, And that's everything for this video today. It's just a really, really quick one. I want you guys to know that it's very easy to make a profit with the stronghold and life skills still, and it's always been this way. You can do this with every update just by knowing what's going to be desirable, um, kind of looking at what people are going to be uh, leveling up if there's a new character and what battle items they need for the raids. Okay, those kind of things are always going to be constants and always going to return a profit. And it's essentially just investing your time, nothing else. Um, so yeah if you like this video uh please make sure that you leave a like below and let me know in the comments down below if you're making a profit this week if you've started to get on top of the stronghold stuff if you've been selling all your materials what are you guys doing to make some gold and remember guys if you're new to the channel please consider dropping a subscribe i'd really appreciate it and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like i'd really appreciate that it helps me push the content out to more people and thank you also always appreciate it wouldn't you bubba you say thank you and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, you're so shy you're such a shy baby. You say bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you in the next one. <laughs> Good boy.